Hi, it's me, Janet from Salah Scrapping, and I'm here to give you a quick tutorial on how to do your own glimmer spray. I did a tutorial before on some tips of when you do your own sprays, but I was asked by a couple of people to actually do a spray on vid. So here's my quick tutorial. You will need water, a spray bottle, metallic paint, and two to three glass beads. I have two here because the other one just rolled away and I can't find it. What's good about this is that there is no strong, there is no fixed measurements to this. So what's great about it is to custom. It's not hard to do. You do it to taste. It's all on how strong or how weak you want the colors to turn out. This is a, a basic way of doing it so it'll be um, easier. Okay. You will take your spray bottle, travel size, small spray bottle, open it. You will add water, not like three of the thirds, two, three of the thirds way up, not half, a little bit more. Leave a little space on top to um, less than half so you can add the acrylic and still have a little room to play with. So you will add the water. Let's see. Mm, that's good. Around there. Okay. Not half, but a little bit more. Then you will take your acrylic paint. I'm using this one. You could really use If you want to shimmer, like I said, if you want to shimmer, use a good shimmer. Get metallic, metallic base paint. I'm just happening to use folk art because it's what my local Walmart has. But if it's metallic base paint, you will you could use it as well if you want that shimmer you could use pearlized also if you don't want any shimmer and you just want to get like a color wash then just use your regular acrylic paint with water and that's it because really a wash is just diluting the, the paint so you could spread it on more okay just add how much am I going to add of paint well I just added like a squirt <laughs> a squirt well I was thinking it's probably like maybe 20, 20, to, 20 to 25 drops of paint. But I'm just going to add a squirt. Remember, less is more. Don't go overboard because I feel it's better to keep on adding than to add too much and then try to play with the water and stuff and then it's going to be just a mess. Put it in. Close it. Ah, oh, forgot the beads. Put the beads inside. I got this tip from Stacy over at Pages and Time where I'm a design team member. Stacy! And um, she gave me a super tip. I'm going to put her info down at the bottom so you can um, go to her blog. And she said she didn't have any glass beads, but she went in and found these little metal weights used for fishing, for fishing lines. And she said it worked just fine. I imagine it worked even better because they're heavier. They're actually metal weights. So you, she'll get more, you'll get more friction. So if you don't have that, you go to your local department store and you go to the fishing area and you'll find these little bags with little metal weights inside. Remember, pea size, so they won't go up the nozzle. And it's perfect. It's even better. So Stacy, that was an awesome tip. Go to Pages, go to pages in Time. That site is awesome. You'll, you'll find great creative people, good ideas, and it's just a lot of fun over there. So please go check it out. I'll put the info down on the bottom. Now you just shake, shake, shake. Hear the beat. Shake, shake, shake. You'll see it. See, it's the color like if it was diluted. You will take it. Da -da -da -da. I usually open it up to see. And I think it's a little too clear. I'm going to add like another squirt of the acrylic. Another squirt of paint. I like mine to be not on the heavy side. Just a little bit strong. I like the fact that sometimes I do it gradually because sometimes when I spray once, I like the color and depending on my project I'll get a nice soft colorish glitter and if I want it stronger all I have to do is keep on spraying and I'll build up the color so that's why I say less is more because if you do it bold from bold at once you'll probably not want it or it's going to be too strong for your project this one is like actually three sprays 
to get this color, this intensity. And for me, that's good because I can control the intensity of the color, but I still get all that glimmer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shake, 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 shake. The good thing is that it doesn't have any glue. You don't have to keep on shaking it because if it does have glue, the first shake should be really, really intense. Now let me get a flower. Happen to have around. And I will spray. No. And see? You'll see this. I don't know if you can see the silhouette on the paper. Look at it. It's all glittery and it's like a soft, soft purplish kind of color, soft lilac color. I'm good with this because as you saw, I sprayed and sprayed and sprayed, waited, and then I could heat set it. And if I still see it's too light, because sometimes when it dries it gets more intense, then I can keep on spraying it. If you find this is too clear for you, then just add some more. Remember, you can also add more than one color. You can combine colors. So you, it's totally customized. Like right now, if I think this is, a, this is too bright, and this is so economical, the whole bottle is still here, and I've just added three squirts. Put it in. If I think it's too clear, I can add a little bit of brown. Or a dash, a dash of black, like a drop or two of black. And it'll tone it down much more. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. I love these bottles. They're much more stronger than these that I brought at the other department store, which I'm not going to say the name of, but yeah, better. Okay, this one's yellow. I didn't like it, but whatever. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, let me get another flower so you can see. Same sprays. And look at how darker the color is getting. If I heat set it and spray it again, it'll be even darker. But for me, this is good. Why? Because I can build up the color to the intensity that I want for my project. So, that's it. And there's also another tip. And you got your own glimmer mist. Your own glimmer spray. This is so awesome. I love it. Um, another tip also, um, this is the one out, this is really good. If you can find it or find something similar to it, you can make any color, even the matte colors like these that are not pearlized. It doesn't have to be this brand. It could be any brand of acrylic paint that's matte. With this, you can make it glimmery, shimmery, because it's metallic pearl white. Awesome. Alone, you could use it with water like I showed you, and you'll get this sort of um, iridescent, glimmery sheen to it without actually depositing colors so any color under it will be true if you're spraying it on a flower um, I don't know how to explain it you're spraying, spraying it on a flower that's already pink and you just and but it's not shiny like um some I am roses or wild orchids or something like that um, you can or petaloo you can take it shake it spray it and it'll give you a nice sort of glimmer sheen to it without actually changing the color of the flowers. It's so super cool. Or any paper flowers that you make, spray it. It's great. If not, take this with regular click paint, mix it together with the proportions I said. Go this one. This time go a little bit less. Go totally halfway because you're going to be adding two colors. So you're going to want to know how to what how intense you want. Remember, every time you add, the water is to wash down the color. So the color will be diluted. You will not dilute the shine. You will only dilute the color. So the more water you add, the more lighter the color you're using will be. It's not going to affect in anything the glimmer or the sheen to it at all. And remember, you don't need glue. And um, I think that's it. I love my little colors, my little flowers. And um, I these here, I did the exact same way. All my little flowers here. Here, to get this strong yellow color to it, I just added a real large amount of um, acrylic paint. I just totally, here I filled it a little bit more than half, then like a squirt or two. Well, this time I added just almost to the top. And I got this intense color after like maybe two sprays. So it was good just to spray. This is good for people who just want the exact color coming out of the bottle without having to build it up. But almost all of us that use glimmer sprays build up our colors sometimes. Ah, and this is, see, you'll get with this, 
with um, using the water and the acrylic you get something like this but this one has like a yellow gold sheen to it even though it's sh uh, it's sheer but with this one you'll just get the shimmer without that gold undertone under it okay so this is my video I hope you found it useful um, it's so simple you don't need to add a lot of things uh, whatever if you have any doubts or any comments please feel free to leave me a comment and um, and I'll get back to you. Thank you. Bye.